In this video, we'll look at how to install Plask, a server management tool on DigitalOcean Droplet. If you're frustrated with the command line interface approach you, and you are looking for an intuitive way using which you can manage and maintain your clients' projects and hosting or probably your own websites that you have, then you are looking at server management tool. Now, you are definitely aware of cPanel because of the fact that they have it licensed on literally all the shared hosting portal you will find out there. Now, there are other sort of portals like Cloudways where you can manage and maintain the VPS hosting directly from their portal. We'll talk about this in a different video series, but in this, we'll try to look at Plask. Plask is also a server management tool which you can install on your hosting. For our case, we'll try to install it on a DigitalOcean droplet. They comes with tons of features, which you'll be able to see it on their portal. Apart from the features that they are offering, you can look at the set of extensions that they have. They have 100 plus extensions, which you can utilize to perform a lot of activities, starting from optimizing your website, looking after the security aspects of them, and install applications in just a simple click. Applications like WordPress website, Magento website, CRM, and a lot more. I make videos on server setup, API development, website development, and mobile app development. You can subscribe my channel to see more such videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon that will keep you notified of any new uploads. With that, let's get started by signing into our DigitalOcean account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up and if you're using the link that I have in the description, you'll be able to get $100 credit for a time frame of two months. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to see uh, this screen here. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll be able to see this blue button that says get started with the droplet. Either you can click this or create on top that will show you droplet both way it will take you to droplet creation page there you'll be seeing distributions basically a uh, os which you can install but for this case instead of creating os and doing everything on our own we'll utilize one click application that is provided by digital ocean by default you'll see under recommended section plask is already available but here we'll try to go to the marketplace in case if you are not seeing it in the recommendation you can go ahead to marketplace and search for the same now digital ocean has a lot of a pre-built solution which you can simply click and that will install the required dependencies and other bits to your droplet similarly they also have something to do with plask we'll search for plask now if you notice this this is a blog post and uh, hosted by the plask team they have specified if you're installing via one click version of this you'll be able to host three domains for free this installation comes with a very basic package where you are just allowed to host three domains and manage everything from your side where your customer don't have access to the dashboard or the websites nor are reselling feasibilities or affiliate feasibilities. If you want any of that feasibilities to be there on your website, you have to upgrade your uh, Plask version or Plask license to either a pro or as a web hosting edition, which you can avail from their website. So they basically tied up to offer us this package. Uh, now, if you scroll down a bit, that will show you what all are the uh, packages or the dependencies that it needs. Now, we don't have to worry about any of that all we need to do is uh, installed via this particular um, application uh, digital ocean application and it will take care of all the dependencies that needs to be installed simply click the create plask droplet button that will bring you back to the droplet creation page where plask instance will be selected with the Plask instance selected, it's time for us to choose a plan. Now, knowing that you'll be hosting your client's project and the projects may vary depending on the clients and the projects that they're hosting it on your portal, the resource and the bandwidth can also alter. Now, you need to select a one which is required for your need. For my case, I'm just going off with a basic one so that I can show you how you can install and manage the domains and hosting and other bits. Once that is done, you have to select a data center region. You can select anything which is close to your region and then use a uh, CDN. And you have two authentication methods. One is SSH and another is one time. I'm going with one time. You can check my other video which demonstrated how you can add SSH key to an existing droplet. Now you have an option to enable backup. So I highly recommend that you do that. That's barely $1 fee per month. 
that way your instance is saved and if at all anything happens you can go ahead and kind of uh, get, get the uh, snapshot and reinitiate an instance if you need any suggestion from me on which plan basically suits your need you can leave a comment in the description i'll try my best to help you it can take some time but once it's done you'll receive an ip address which you can access copy the ip address and open it in a new tab and you'll be able to see the Plax login dashboard. We're viewing this IP address is just because we haven't configured the domain. Uh, if you want to know how you can configure the domain, I already have a video on that. I'll just add the link in the description or, all, or else on top. You will see this kind of message that says it's not secure. Is that that SSL is not configured. So just click on proceed anyway to this website. On the login screen, you will be asked to enter an username and password. Now here the username is root and the password is the root password that has been emailed to your email ID which is registered with your DigitalOcean account. Access the email, copy the password and paste it in the login screen. Click on login button. They will ask you to change the login password for security reasons. They will also ask you a bit of a contact information. That's basically the name and email address, which will basically be super admin or uh, super user access. So all the information that are related to this, uh, this portal will be triggered to this email address. You can either generate a new password or else key it in uh, whatever you need. And if you click on the eye icon, that will show you what was the password that has been uh, auto-generated. Click on con click the checkbox that says I confirm the TNC and click on get started. After which Plask will kind of initialize few of the services and kind of configure few bits so that we'll be able to use the services that they are offering. They might also look up for the licensing and other bits internally. Uh, roughly this is going to take some time. If you are here with me so far, please like the video and subscribe my channel. That way it will help me and motivate me to complete this playlist with more interesting videos on Plask and everything to do with server management. Once the setup process is completed, uh, you are taken to the dashboard, Plask dashboard. and. Uh, you are greeted with a newsletter subscription uh, pop-up you can simply ignore this and uh, once that is out of the way we have the dashboard where it asks we can add websites or domain basically you can add a domain now this is something that uh, i have a a different video where like this is a lengthy process where we have to configure DNS and uh, uh, change the name servers and other bits so that will come in a different video uh, please subscribe the channel so that uh, you get a notification on uh, when I'm uploading that uh, and if you you see the left hand side you have the tools and settings you'll be able to see what all are the configurations that you can change you can also host your own mail server using this and you don't have to rely on let's say third party like G Suite and uh, others so you can sell a complete package to your customers that will be offering let's say email hosting domain SSL and a lot of things so here we can configure a free SSL using less encrypt uh, or you can configure go, uh, Komodo or uh, DigiCert if you go to the advanced monitoring you'll be able to see all the monitoring uh, statistics as in uh, statistics related to your droplet and the bandwidth memory consumption uh, so if you scroll down you see a cpu usage statistics and the memory usage statistics as well uh, if you click on service that shows you what all are the services that are running and what are the uh, let's say memory that they are consuming or probably what all are the uses uh, cpu uses allocated for those set of uh, applications that are currently running uh, everything that uh, you can possibly uh, get but you don't get this set of statistics on digital ocean droplet um, or digital ocean panel uh, or, or cli for the uh, example case now when you are working with cli we don't get to understand the cpu uses and often we try we, we fail to understand uh, the e uses consumption 
uh, you also get a network statistics here and on the left hand side if you click the ACO toolkit this is one of the decent features that I found on Plask here it actually gives you ACO score against the website so if you are a web agency or else a digital marketing agency you can use this feature to provide a comprehensive package to your clients which includes uh, all the set of domains hosting emails ssl and aco configurations as well you can create databases you can go ahead and create multiple applications using a simple click here i'll show you what all are the applications that are currently available on plus but it's not limiting you to not install other set of applications these are some a uh, few of the applications that are by default given to you by uh, Plask service so it has a uh, analytical tool uh, like these maybe and you have like CMS Joomla Magento you can install directly from the portal is this just click away OS commerce uh, PrestaShop uh, WordPress you can simply install GenCard and then you have let's say collaboration tools uh, that are already available within the portal and uh, you have these kind of applications also you have CRM tools uh, that you can utilize uh, sugar CRM is an open source project which is added to Plask if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos